Welcome back guys to another video of Fire Resolve. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get your UTD 360C to be compatible with VIA. So first up, go to the VIA official website here and first download the VIA of course. And then once you've done that, go to the support keyboard section. Here you'll find that there is no signs of any UTD keyboards because yeah, UTD don't support VIA. However, if you go to the firmware section and scroll down to the U section down below, you'll actually find a file called the um, utd80 underscore via.hex. Here you go, utd80 underscore via.hex. So just download that. So this file is going to be the file you use to flash the keyboard. So I'm actually not going to be showing you guys how to flash your keyboard because um, uh, Mac Morley has done a very good video on that. Here you go. Mac Morley's video is very good and I'll just direct you to the, his video. So basically just follow his tutorial on how to flash your keyboard. Uh, but there are just a couple of things to keep in mind for the utd 3 ccc For step 5, here you go. Launch QMK toolbox and open the correct file. You want to open the... Here you go, here you go. You want to open the file that you downloaded just now. The underscore va.hex file for the utd 80 underscore va.hex. So that file you're going to be opening here. And for option 6, here you go. Select the MCU AVR only. You're going to select the exact same thing he selected. Add Mega 3 to U4. And then for option 7, which is to reset your keyboard, you're going to choose option 2. That is the one that worked with my um, UTD. Hold space plus B. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind when um, following his tutorial. I'm going to be um, putting sort of like a list down below so you guys can read over it whilst looking at his tutorial to make it easier for you guys to follow. So after you flash your keyboard, normally with a typical keyboard, um, it'll be compatible with VIA instantaneously. However, with this keyboard, you have to do one more step and you're done. First of all, open VIA. Once you open the VIA software, you'll notice that it does not detect your device. So don't panic first, this is just how it is. Uh, normally with any typical keyboard, it'll detect directly, but with the UTD, you need one extra step, which is to go to the top left corner here, the file, the file button here, open file and press import key map or control zero on windows. So after you press the import key map button, you want to import the file called utd80.json. So this json file um, is kind of hard to find. It's in a Taobao official web. It's in a Taobao website for the utd3ccc. It's a bit finicky to find. Um, you can find it in discord servers, but I'll just, I'll just put this in the Google Drive link down below so you guys can easily access it. So just download that from my Google Drive link and you'll, you'll get the file immediately. So you want to import that file. Here you go, just import that, just press it, and it's gonna load. So there you go. Basically, you have VIA on your utd 3 ccc As you can see, this is my keyboard. I've actually remapped mine to have this as volume up and volume down. This is Rwin, and yeah, this is mute. It works, it works perfectly. So yeah, that's basically it. This is a very short and quick tutorial on the extra steps you need to do after flashing your keyboards to get VIA on your utd 360 c